monstrous fangs. My hand's a little shaky. I've got a little bit of adrenaline kind of ramping up for this bite. I'm not looking forward to taking a bite from this gigantic tarantula. Did you see those fangs, man? Oh, man. Oh, look at those fangs, folks. My name is Jack, and I've spent the past few years traveling all over the globe to find some of nature's most unique and dangerous animals. My goal? To show the world that even the most bizarre or perhaps even deadly life forms on Earth deserve both our respect and our appreciation. Now this mission has brought me face to face with some of Mother Nature's most fearsome biting and stinging animals. In today's video, I find myself trying something I've never tried before. The bite of a tarantula. I'm a little wary to be sure, but I'm excited to see how powerful these massive arachnids truly are. All right, everybody. So today I am venturing into a region I have not ventured into before. Today I will be showcasing the biting power of my first tarantula bite test. Now I have in my possession a beautiful and large Texas brown tarantula. Now these animals are, of course, once again, timid in nature, a defensive animal that defends if it feels uh, uh, threatened in any kind of way. Uh, not an animal that's aggressive, but an animal that, should the need arise in those urticating hairs don't quite work in deterring a predator, is capable of delivering a painful, deterring bite. Interested to see how painful the bite of a tarantula will be? I guess I am too. So uh, without any further ado, let's test the bite of the Texas brown tarantula. Now, New World tarantulas generally use their large size to overtake and overpower smaller prey, meaning their venom isn't usually very toxic. Their fangs, however, are huge and not really something I'm looking forward to having stabbed into my arm. Of course, these animals are not generally aggressive, and even when threatened, prioritize fleeing or kicking urticating hairs at their attacker before biting as a last resort. All right, folks, here I am. I've got my lovely, lovely, lovely female Texas brown tarantula here, a sizable tarantula. Um, I'm really not too worried about the venom here. What's gonna be quite irksome is the size, the, the girth of these fangs. These are very large fangs, much bigger than what I'm used to with wasp and ant stingers. Uh, so it, uh, that's gonna kind of put a dampener on my day. But uh, I'm here to showcase once again, these are not aggressive animals, but of course, if they, uh, if they feel threatened, uh, they will defend themselves. Look at that. No sign of aggression, no desire to bite. Uh, again, these are, these are kind of larger, heavier bodied spiders. Uh, these are megalomorphs, which are separate from true spiders. So their fangs, instead of pinching inward, pinch directly down. These beautiful spiders, once they're adults, like this female here, uh, the females will live underneath rocks and logs for pretty much their entire life. Uh, they're fairly sedentary. They don't really come out and wander all that much. Uh, it's the males that you usually run across because uh, pretty much at about this time of year, they come out to look for females to reproduce. Uh, but as you can see, perfectly sweet little creature here. Nothing to be too scared of, too worried about, um, but uh, I'm gonna get her pinned here in a second and we're gonna test, we're gonna test the bite force of this fantastic arachnid. Oh, dude. Look at those fangs. She's rip roaring ready to go. Oh, look at me, my hands are shaking. I'm, I'm a little anxious to try this one out. Shoot. Gosh, look at those fangs there. Oh my gosh, those are monstrous fangs. My hand's a little. 
little shaky. I've got a little bit of adrenaline kind of ramping up for this bite. I'm not looking forward to taking a bite from this gigantic tarantula. <sighs> Heart's beating, man. Heart's beating. <sighs> okay, so uh, I guess I'm testing the bite of the Texas brown tarantula, Fonapelma hensi. Those fangs are not looking very inviting, but uh, I guess that's what I'm here to do, so. Oh. <laughs> mm. Here we go. Not ready, but I think I'm gonna do it. Oh man! Oh! Look at those fangs, folks! Come on! Oh, oh a few good bites in there. Come on, one more! at those look at all those little pin pin marks right there Ooh. I gotta tell you folks it's that initial fang piercing the skin that's really painful I'm only just now starting to feel a little bit of the venom effects as a light stinging sensation starts to kind of radiate through this area for the most part it was just those fangs digging into my flesh it was really the most painful, as I had surmised. Ah, oh, man. Whew, whew. Hey, stay, stay close to me here. Take a look here. You can look at that bite center. This lovely tarantula. She has, I see at least four instances where those fangs fully pierce the skin, potential. Uh, so that's two bites there at least that got in. But as you can see, now that we're finished with this test, my lovely tarantula friend here is really no longer interested in biting. Once again, this animal only was forced to bite when she felt that her life was in danger. And once that stimuli was removed, these animals go back to being their normal, placid, peaceful, calm, unaggressive selves. And that's something really important that I try and showcase in these videos with these stinging insects or, or arachnids or other such arthropods, is that these animals aren't these kind of killing machines. They aren't these aggressive, horrible, nasty monsters that just want to hurt us. These are important members of their own ecosystems and they deserve the same amount of respect and appreciation that we give uh, to larger animals like ourselves and elephants and tigers and gorillas and all that other great stuff. Um, every single animal on this planet has adapted to serve a role in its respective ecosystem and we all can benefit from that role that they serve. So it's important, even if spiders aren't your favorite, which I understand, even if tarantulas give you the creeps, we still need to understand that these are important, important animals and that they, uh, that they have a role to serve here and that they're important and, and that we have a precious resource in these creatures here. Oh, did you see those fangs, man? Look at that. As you can see here, it's okay. A little bit of discoloration, a little bit of red, kind of it's a little bit of inflammation starting to show up, but really not, not too much. You can start to see some lymph kind of leaking out of some of those bite holes. Uh, this venom is going to get into my circulatory system, into my lymphatic system, and uh, that's when it's going to start to kind of move through my tissue, through my cells, and that's where we're going to see kind of some more of that reaction. Right now, I would say that the venom itself feels like mild wasp sting. And the majority of that pain that I just endured was the sheer size of those fangs. That's like sticking yourself with thumbtacks. It is not a pleasant feeling. It does not feel good. Um, but the venom itself is not, it's not very potent in this species. So super cool. Uh, we thank our lovely little tarantula. Lovely tarantula kiss. Here, 
Let's have you get real close for the next one. She's gonna bite me on the face. There we go. Because we love our friends so much. Let me get some kitty ears away. Kiss on the leg for our lovely friend. We had a great time filming with her. We're gonna let her rest. Uh, she has done well for me. And uh, we'll take one last look at that. You can see some inflammation. Uh, we'll probably see a little bit of swelling here, but other than that, take a look right here. Other than that, not too bad. There she is on her handiwork. Let's see all those stabbed holes in my arm. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Well, I'll keep you guys posted on the effects of this bite, but other than that, I think we are ready to bid our lovely tarantula friend adieu. So uh, stay tuned to see what the full effects of this bite will entail. I'll see you in a second. Here we are about 10 minutes after the initial bite. So really, really interesting here. You can see like a lot of kind of speckling inflammation. Honestly, it's kind of like sore, kind of achy. And I, even in like my fingers, like in my joints, I'm feeling a little bit of soreness, a little bit of achiness. Um, but other than that, uh, pain is mostly kind of subsided to like a dull kind of buzz i don't i don't know a, tw a twinge is that a word uh that feels like it's the best descriptor of what i'm feeling uh, but you can see a little bit of that blood and lymph kind of mixed onto the surface those fangs were just monstrous uh so i was expecting to have quite a few little puncture holes here but uh really really interesting i was really nervous if you couldn't tell so uh, it looks like it's gonna be uh, one of those bites where it's just kind of really inflamed, really itchy for the next uh, few days, week, week or two. Um, but it shouldn't be anything uh, too terrible, I'm hoping. So here we are about four hours after the initial bite. Um, still some discoloration. You can see all those little... Oh, you can see all those little bite, bite marks, those bite holes. Um... It's mostly gone down a little bit of inflammation, but uh, I think it'll probably be pretty red and itchy tomorrow. So this is probably all I'm gonna update for the rest of today. Okay, folks, here we are the day after. A lot of just kind of red inflammation. Some interesting markings there. Um, it's pretty itchy, but not really painful at all. Don't know how much more we'll see, but I think this is the kind of full extent of the Texas Brown Tarantula Bite. Okay, here we are, day two. A little bit of discoloration, a little bit itchy, but uh, I think that's the full extent here of the Texas Brown Tarantula Bite. Um, honestly, the most painful part, I think, was those gigantic fangs digging into my skin. Uh, the rest has just been kind of itchy and uncomfortable, a little sore. A little sore. And uh, that's really it. All right, here we are just over a week out. You can see there is still a little bit of discoloration. Um, honestly, not much. It's kind of a little itchy bump, maybe, but less than a mosquito, far less than a mosquito. Uh, pretty, pretty interesting. You can see my arm still got a little bit of kind of patchy coloration there. But other than that, I think, uh, I think it is fully healed here at one week later. Uh, just another example how with the sting and bite test, I'm really not in any real danger um and uh, so far so good as far as long-term long-lasting effects on anything so i'm healthy as an ox and uh, hopefully i can keep doing uh, doing this type of stuff for you all as long as youtube doesn't uh, keep slashing my videos all right here we are day nine really pretty much run its course so i think that's probably where we will finish up and Folks, I apologize. I came from my other job. I didn't have a chance to, didn't have a chance to change. But uh, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Uh, I had a really interesting time filming once again another spider bite and my brand new first tarantula bite video. Uh, honestly, I thought it was going to be way worse. So I'm kind of glad. Um, but uh, maybe we'll get to see some more tarantula bites in the future. Now. Hold your horses. So I'm not saying, 
okay, first things first, I'm going and doing OBT and pokey bite and all this crazy stuff that you guys want me to do. I'm, I'm gonna take it slow. I'm gonna see how we go, but uh, I'm, I'm not really uh, thinking that I'm gonna write off New World Tarantulas just yet. Um, and maybe, I don't wanna promise anything, maybe some old worlds, but we'll see. But I appreciate you guys watching the extended version of this video. There was still some interesting stuff I wanted to do as well as kind of try a few new things with my Bites and Sting uploads to see if we can kind of get around some of the issues that some of my others uh, have kind of run into. So thank you for watching. And I really appreciate that view. Thank you for your support. And uh, I'm so excited. We're so close to the Ecuador Galapagos trip. And I just can't wait to find some cool stuff down there. I mean, wandering spiders, centipedes, bullet ants, the whole nine yards. We're so excited to get going. And uh, just stay tuned for all that because it's going to be good. Well, there you have it. This test was fascinating. I was actually kind of shaken before taking this bite. Those fangs are extremely intimidating, even to a hardened bite tester like myself. But I'm glad I could add this fantastic test to my repertoire. Remember, this animal had no desire to bite me before or even after this test. Spiders, although potentially scary to some, are not bloodthirsty monsters, and they deserve both our respect and our appreciation for the roles they serve in ecosystems all over the planet. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you next week with the next upload. Thanks for watching.